Welcome back to the Hillbilly RV channel. What are we doing today, Cam? Placing J Rat. Hey, hey, that's not sewer, is mm -mm. it? <laughs> so we're really excited about this job, aren't we? Oh yeah. And we're not playing this time. We're really excited. Uh actually over here from my brother-in-law. Uh, this is Camper. He had a little boo-boo. And uh show you the boo-boo here in a minute. Uh finally got J Rap. Took us forever to get a piece of J Rap. And then it was just white. So we had to get it painted, and uh, so we're here today to change out the J-Wrap and the fender skirt. So I uh, guess we might as well get started, huh? I guess so. All right. Let's get started. He's going to get started. I'm mostly just going to be watching because I'm getting really good at that. <laughs> hey, everybody's got to be good at something, right? The camera's going to tell you what he's going to be doing. Got a bunch of quarter-inch screws right here. Right where that seam's at, take them all the way down. Hopefully it'll come out easy. That's what we're shooting for, right? You guys may have noticed, we made a big switch. Trying out Milwaukee tools. See how that ends up. All right, we got all the screws out. So this piece of J-Wrap, see, did we? Yeah, it should just slip down out there. Just like that. There is our new piece of metal with the old piece of metal laying on top of it. We're gonna use it as a pattern to get our cutouts. Uh, I think uh, we only have two, one's a fender hole and then there's a cutout for the for the bracket for the uh, slide room, and uh, that's it. Uh, so we're gonna get this marked and cut. This, piece, this new piece of metal is just barely long enough. <laughs> is it long enough? Oh, yeah. It is exact. Got a little bit of. Wow. That's <laughs> too close much. for comfort. <laughs> that. Yeah, that's, uh, that's what you ordered. Yeah, but I thought I ordered, <laughs> that's what they'll tell you. I thought I ordered plenty extra. Uh, luckily, when I ordered this, uh, I didn't mean to, but I ordered exactly the right length. So <laughs> here we are. It's good, good thing. Good thing uh, they didn't short us because <laughs> it wouldn't be <laughs> long enough. <laughs> Usually I try and get it like a foot too long. Just in case, because sometimes uh, sometimes the ends will get uh, get a little messed up in uh, in shipping and stuff. Let's get the top where it needs to be. Because we know the bottom's all jacked up. That's pretty close. Uh, so we need to slip it down about a quarter inch. You good? Mm -hmm. That's marked right. And if you're doing this, you may notice these cutouts are really, really Ooh. ugly. Because um, they don't really, uh, they don't really take time to do it very nice when they build these things because it's just it's going to be hid behind the fender skirt but still uh yeah you will a lot of times you will find this stuff it looks like they just they chewed it chewed the holes in it <laughs> instead of cut them but uh this one here actually looks pretty good Struggle. Did, uh, did you uh, 
Did you miss the day in kindergarten where they taught you to use scissors? I did, apparently. Apparently. I'm messing this up. <laughs> Big time. First day. What am I doing wrong? I don't have any idea what you're doing wrong. But I'm tired of watching you struggle. I know, I am too. <laughs> Got you going straight, you think hang on. Just think so. don't cramp that right there. I got you. Come underneath. Yep. Come underneath. There you go. Sheesh. Here we are, send Cameron back to kindergarten. Go back to scissor class. Can you color inside the lines too? Or I think you? so. I think <laughs> well, they taught me that I one. I thought you could use scissors too. <laughs> oh, I know that one firsthand. Tell you what, let's uh, go to plan B. Go down and get that end cut. Okay. Yeah, tired of watching him struggle. Oh, you got it. You didn't have no faith in me. You got it, son. Hey, you do better left hand, you do right hand. I do. Perfect. All right, we're going to just. Uh, we're gonna score it and break it now. Ooh. Yeah, I don't have very good 10 snips. So. Rather than uh, watch Cameron continue to struggle, we're just gonna, I'm gonna score it with my knife and we're gonna burger break it. Should break pretty easy. If I can cut it straight. Acts like he's seen me use a knife before. <laughs> Shit. I have to do it that way. Yeah. Mm, there good. Mm. Oh. Oh. So Flip. Snip. Few of the staples got pulled out of this metal, so we're just gonna shoot a couple screws in this to hold it. Right to the edge there. It needs to go back underneath back there. Yep. Yeah. Now it slides up in. No. It's all got to go at the same time. Is that screw going to be in the way? Here we are. Nope. There we are. I just 
put like it's like one right down there and one right there, but get them spaced from the end. The same. Okay. Not a whole lot holds this metal up here. Uh, just a few screws. The only thing holds it. So the metal, the metal is basically put back on. Uh, the screws that hold the center skirt on uh, is mostly what holds this piece of metal on. So uh, we're going to get started on the fender skirt now. Sure know how to block a camera. What kind of cameraman are you? Oh. Let me shoot one screw out. I got two hairs out there. This is good. There's something back here. Hmm. All right, let's take it away right there. Okay. See what that is. Oh, it's wood get, or? Yeah, there's something besides wood in there. I didn't want to melt the fender shirt. Oh, Good. Did you get self tappers? Mm hmm. I think you were using one of the old screws. I was. Did we have enough? Did we have eight painted ones? None of them were painted. They're no, just the silver still... ones, yeah. Okay, let's just put this in there. I can go get you some more. Well, I think new new silver screws are gonna be look better than the gold. So we're just gonna go around here and put the rest of these screws in that silver skirt. Then we'll be back. Mm. Well, there you have it. There is replacing your J-Wrap. They call it J-Wrap because I guess it's shaped like a J. I don't know, but that's what they call it. And uh, it's the piece of metal that runs along the bottom of your camper. Typically, whether your camper's stick and tin, aluminum sided, or whether it's a, a smooth fiberglass, it's gonna have this J-Wrap at the bottom. Uh, just about all the manufacturers do it. Um, different colors, white, black, painted, pebble, smooth, whatever, but it's always called J-Rap. Uh, wasn't too bad, huh? Mm -mm. You'd brother brother been working on a sewer tank, sewer valve or something, wouldn't Any you? Any day of the week. This boy's sick, I'm telling you, he's sick, sick, sick. I don't know about him. These kids nowadays, they want to play and poop all the time. Uh, anyhow, that's a, I think that's all we got. Uh, all you gotta do is get down there in that comment section, leave us a comment, criticism, a concern, uh, check out all those links going on down there, and uh, what are we going to do now, Kim? I have no idea. <laughs> Guess it's up to the boss man, isn't it? He is. Uh, he's just along for the ride. So uh, that's it. We're done for the day. Uh, we're not going to go fix another one. I'm going to go home. He's going to go to his house. We're probably going to have some supper. We might get into something, but that don't concern y'all because we're done working on RV. So y'all have a great day.